Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our one and only personal break this afternoon and we're going to jump on into two hobby boxes of the new 2022 Top Star Wars release of Chrome Black. Now we opened up three cases of this product on Wednesday. We initially were going to only open up two, but Bossman and I both fell in love with the design and we wanted to see some more. So we ended up opening up three cases. In total, we found the Kanan Super Fractor, Freddie Prince Jr autograph super refractor there for Kanan Jarrett's. We found a Hayden Christensen autograph. We found a magenta refractor of Kira, a base parallel number to 10, and lots of gorgeous cards. I really, really love the design. I know that everyone loved the autograph design since the regular base autograph design is at an angle. I thought it was neat. But more for me, honestly, I'm surprised by how much I just love the base set. So Chrome Black doesn't give you too much per box. You have one encased autograph and one pack of three cards. Typically you find two base cards and a parallel. About half of each case we found two base cards and a parallel, and then one base card, a refractor, and then another numbered parallel. So I'm curious what assortments we're gonna be finding here for Matt. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. These two boxes here for Matt S from Georgia. Let's see what we can find by snapping us into the corner. Now, Matt has had pretty good luck with encased products. I remember out of Signature Series, we ended up finding a black Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka autograph, number to five, for Matt a while back. And yeah, so this is, Chrome Black is like Signature Series, but like on another level, it's like they give you the little base cards. I much prefer the Chrome Black design to Signature Series this year. So I'm excited to see what we're gonna find. And I love, 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 love the base. I'm curious want you all to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on the base sets. Like I said, I love it. I love it. Super hard for me to resist collecting it. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below. So our first autograph, we do have Kieran Shaw as Nambi Gima. Unfortunately, this case does seem a little bit scuffed. Ah, something always to worry about with encased products is whether or not the cases will actually be nice. It's not just the tops thing, it's tops, panini, upper deck. Anytime we open up products where they're already pre-magged, sometimes the magnetics look a little rough. So Kieran Shaw here is Nabi Gima from The Rise of Skywalker, base autograph. It's our first auto here. And then let's check out the pack. So three cards inside. Let's see. Ooh, I see nice color at the back. Ooh, first time we've seen the Darth Vader base card. Three cases did not get a full base set. 100 cards, so definitely hard to collect. But Darth Vader, and we do have Pow from Rogue One. Then a nice gold, number to 50, Grand Admiral Thrawn. That's number 14 of 50. So I love, I, for me, honestly, I'm slightly more excited to see what's, what numbered cards we get here. But... I love this card set. Now, we actually sold out of almost every single base card. I think the only cards, I think we have two base cards left that were just, we had like three copies of them. We ended up getting them quite often. Otherwise, the base set's hot. Like I said, you get like one to two base cards per box, which I feel like shouldn't even count as a base card. It's like, what's what's base about it? It's just like the tier tier one versus higher tier. It's not, that's not something you can collect really, but it's lots of people are trying it and cards are gorgeous. So I can't, I can't say anything negative. It's just, oh, good luck everybody. But all right, second auto here for Matt. Let's see, looking at the design. I'm thinking it's a base auto, but we do have, ooh, Tia Sirkar, Sabine Wren. Again, a little bit of scuffing on the case. So looking like these two cases that's we have here for Matt's not the greatest, but I do believe there is headlight polish. You can go watch tutorials on YouTube for people removing magnetic scratches. So Sabine ran here, Tia Sirkar, nice autograph. Excited to see Sabine in live action when that Ahsoka show comes around. And it's like, Allie, but you don't watch TV. It's like, I know, but hopefully by the time the Ahsoka show comes out, I'll be all caught up. Be all caught up on Mando and Book of Boba Fett and Andor and, you know, everything else. Tales of the Jedi just came out, too. I'm, I'm so behind. But excited for that. It's nice to see Sabine. I like the images chosen. All right. 
Let's see. We do have Django, base. We have Refractor, Wrecker, from the Bad Batch. Refractors are numbered to 199, so 160 out of 199. Then we do have a green, Commander Cody, numbered to 99. So 92 of 99 there, Commander Cody, with the little tiny Palpatine. Love the images chosen. Love the images chosen. For a lot of characters, it's images we don't see too often. Sometimes I feel sets like Galactic Files, Finest, things like that, Holocron as well. I felt were kind of notorious for recycling images that we see all the time. So I'm liking these either uncommonly used images or ones that I can't place on cards before, like this Thrawn. We see Thrawn all the time in his uniform, but just just that's, that image from Rebels is something I think is new. I, it looks really cool. If it's not new, then we haven't seen it 15 times like some of the other Thrawn cards. So I think the set looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get on into a recap, starting off their numbered cards here for Matt's. Did have a gold, a green, and a base refractor. Parallel, so 14 of 50 on that Thrawn gold. Commander Cody, 92 of 99 green. And the Refractors, number two, 199. Wrecker here, 160 out of 199. And we did end up, two boxes, just three total base cards. Darth Vader, Pow, and Django Fett. And for our autographs, both ended up being base autographs. But like I said, I really like the design. I like the shine to them much more so than the base design and even the variant design for Signature Series. Like, I liked it better this year than the year prior, but a Signature Series was not the most fancy design, whereas I really like the way Chrome Black looks. So Tia Sirkar here as Sabine Wren and Kieran Shaw as Nambi Gima. So from Star Wars Rebels and from The Rise of Skywalker. We'll say this character, although they are cute, they were very much so a blink and you miss it character. There's the little tiny creature at the festival that like gave Ray like a flower or something. So definitely cute. But like I said, more of a blink and you miss it. But with that, that does wrap off these two boxes here for Matt. So Matt's no autograph number to five this time, but thank you so much for letting me open up some more Star Wars for you here on the channel. Hope that you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. That Thrawn looks really nice. Really like that one. Really, really like it. Well, that, that does wrap off the videos I have for you all here today. Now, we do have more Star Wars Chrome Black openings coming next week, especially next Saturday, not tomorrow the 5th, but November 12th. We will be having that case draft of Chrome Black, some personal breaks as well. I won't be here tomorrow on the 5th, as I'll be out of town for a K-pop concert, but I'll be back for a regularly scheduled Saturday night live streams the following week. So this is all you're going to see for me until Monday. But yeah, happy that I got to have some fun here tonight. I'm pre-recording late night on Thursday. Checking out these Star Wars Chrome here, which is always a blast. Love, love, love the way this set looks. We also checked out that Leaf Repack product. So a couple of quick videos, but I hope that you all had fun with them. And of course... Hope, Matt, that you love the cards. I, like I said, I'm obsessed with the set design. If I didn't go infinite on the CZX Miller sets, I would probably be one of those people where I'm like, wow, more power to you. Try to build the base set. Meanwhile, I'm over here just jealous. Like, man, I wish I could build this base set. The set rocks. Ah, oh, so shiny and beautiful. That's how Chrome gets you. Tops knows they have us by the wallet. They're like, buy our shiny cardboard. It's like, yes, Tops overlords. Yes, I will. I just need to make more money first, and then I'll buy your chrome black, okay? But yes, that uh, wraps everything off here today for me. So if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed all this cringe, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, drop those down below. What are your, your thoughts on the design? What's your thoughts on the set in general? I'm curious. I know not everyone loves it, so I love hearing differing opinions. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, of course, as always, before I get on out of the video, I do have to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Sultari, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. And we also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Bamboo, Butch Corby, Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Jeanette Zen, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. 
and all members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. And yes, that does it for me here tonight, this evening, this afternoon. I don't know when I'm going to schedule this video, so I'll just say afternoon. So that does it for me here this afternoon. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next one. Bye.